Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about how to connect your MS Teams with GPT-3, which is nothing but a version of ChatGPT. So let's get started. To connect GPT-3, you need to come to this URL, which is called platform.openai slash account slash API dash keys from there you can actually generate api keys and if you are logging in or if you are coming to this site for the very first time it will ask you to log in you can log in using your gmail id and from here you can create a secret key as here this option says if you click over here it will generate an api key for you which you can copy by click clicking over here and it says API key copied. Now I will press OK and I will go to my power platform make.powerautomate.com and from here we will start our flow by using automated cloud flow. Let's choose that. Let's give our flow a name. I would call it GPT-3 MS Teams connection and I will search for teams when I search for teams it gives me a lot of options using which I can actually trigger my flow what I will choose is when a new channel message is added so I will select this one as a trigger I will just select that activity and I will press over create it will take me to the canvas and it will ask me which team I want to use. I will choose a team here. So I have these many options to choose from. I will choose SharePoint Power Automate Desktop. So this site I have actually created to showcase my Power Automate Desktop flows. But right now using this site, I will show you how actually we get our teams and GPT-3 connection done. Let's choose that. And it will ask me the channel. I will give it general. Now I will search for GPT-3. And it gives me these two options. So I will select the first one which says OpenAI independent. So here in these actions activities i could find that there are two activities but i would be using the first one which says gpt3 completes your prompt now here as i have already connected my api keys and i have already made a connection earlier prior to this that is why it is not giving me any prompt to give the api key and make a new connection but I will show you from the very scratch. So let's click over these three dots and let's go into add new connection. So when I go here, it is asking me to give a connection name and my API key. So my API key would be nothing but the API key which we have copied from this web page by creating a web key or uh, creating a secret key or API key let's come here let's name it demo gpt3 ms teams connection and here in api key it is asking me to provide api key and it is asking me to put it in in these naming convention bearer and my api key so i will type bearer here and space and i will just press ctrl v so these are the instructions which it is giving me but i have already gone through it if you want to go through it you can go through it and let's press accept now the connection is made now by default it is giving it a question which is what is your favorite animal and why tell me also about the size and weight of this animal 
so this is something which is default but I would be taking a dynamic question so I would be removing these as I remove this entire sentence my question would be coming from this activity which is nothing but a trigger for us so I will be taking this message body content as my question so I will just select it using this dynamic content so let's take that so these are few fields which are autofilled but I would be asking you guys to focus more upon this max tokens max tokens is nothing but I think these are with respect to words so sometimes if you are asking a question and it the answer has uh, more than 75 words so it gets actually trimmed I don't want that I want my answers to be long and complete I would say so let's ma make it 1000 I am making it 1000 I think it would be more su suffice for me and it will actually provide me the more detailed answer not only few lines but the entire thing so all those things I would be leaving it as it is and then again I will go to new step I will again search for teams I will select this Microsoft teams and I will choose this get an at mention token for a user so that I can mention that person who is asking me a question yeah so let's select this one and this user again I will be taking from this activity which is nothing but a trigger so from here you can you can take this ID message from user ID which is nothing but user ID let's select that and let's search for teams again let's select teams so here it says reply with a message in a channel that is what we want let's select that and here there are two options flow bot and user so let's select flow bot for this one so that we can differentiate whether it is coming from flow or it is coming from user so let's select that and post in it is asking me where exactly do you want to post so let's select channel and then it asks me a lot of more information message ID so this message ID is actually the message ID to which you want to reply so that would be coming from our very first trigger activity and this is your message ID right here and here you need to give the team ID so you remember uh, we have selected this SharePoint power automate desktop so let's select that let's select channel as well which was general and I would type a little bit here I would type hey and the token which we got And again I will be giving it a dynamic content which I am getting as an answer which is nothing but text so let's select that so as it is going here into apply to each but if you come here into this activity it is giving me only one only one answer so even if it is going through this loop it would be only giving me one answer I think that would be my answer for the final response so that is fine so I don't have to make any changes in here and my flow is set to go let's save this and let's press our test let's go into test now it says to see it work now add a message to the channel 
now my flow is actually waiting for me to give or ask a question to which it will be responding so let's go to my another tab where I have my teams opened let's go to the channel which I have viewed let's come here and let's ask give me a VBA code to perform we look up in Excel let's see what do we get here it takes a couple of seconds yes and we got our answer and it says hey md amirza here is your answer from gpt3 and it contains the entire code which it has gotten from gpt3 as an answer yeah and it is giving me uh, these things which again if, if you are using it to, in a practical scenario then you need to change few things but yeah this code will work 